A very good morning to everyone. My name is Falgun and in this video we are going to talk about human circulatory system. Okay, before touching to the topic, uh, we are going to uh, just understand what are the organs which are associated in this human circulatory system. Okay, so there are pretty many organs. Let us uh, look around. Okay, so first is heart. For this heart, I'm going to make another video on based on the working of heart. The topic will be working of heart. In that uh, uh, video, I'm be, I'll be talking particularly about the function and working of a heart. So for today, let us skip this topic. Okay. So coming to the other topic, we're going to talk briefly about blood. Okay. After completing about blood, we are going to touch about. Uh, what is blood vessels or how many types of blood vessels are there in our body okay after that we are going to talk about lymph so so in this video we are going to talk about all of this so stay tuned and keep watching so now let us talk about blood so blood is a connective tissue we know that right the, there are various types of tissues right so under that uh, for the connective tissue blood is an example okay so what is the role of blood role of blood is uh, circulating the nutrients whole across the body and hormones minerals and other nutrients from one part of a body to different part of a body and coming back to the blood so let us understand what are the components which are present in the blood okay there are various uh, many components like uh, there are four components four major components which are present in the blood first is plasma second is rbc third is wbc and fourth is platelets the other name of rbc is erythrocytes other name of wbc is leukocytes other name of platelets is uh, thrombocytes so these are the other names of the rbc and RBC, WBC and platelets. Okay. So now let us understand what is the role of each of them. Okay. Plasma is, is the fluid. Okay. So plasma is the reason for the blood to be fluid because what I mean to say here is plasma gives the fluidity property to the blood as Plasma itself is a fluid and it contains 90% of water. So coming to the RBC, other way we can say erythrocytes. RBC contains hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red pigment. Okay. So that the role of hemoglobin is to carry oxygen. So this RBC is helpful for carrying oxygen in the blood. Okay. So coming to the WBC or leukocyte, well we know right, the WBC, the main role of WBC is to protect us from various disease causing organisms or better way I would say various disease causing pathogens, okay. So WBC basically, uh, basically, uh, basically fight against any sort of pathogens in our body so coming to the platelets platelets are thrombocytes these platelets the main role of platelets is um, it clots the blood in case we have a wound the blood will not uh, continuously flow out of our body right at some part of time the blood will stop flowing out of our body okay so this is the reason okay platelets are the components of a blood which helps in clotting the blood in the wound so these are the components of a blood and the role of each of the component in the blood so let us move to the next part so now let us uh, talk about uh, blood vessels okay so blood blood vessels these are the network or pathway through which blood travels throughout the body so for uh, for transportation of the blood there needs a way right so this uh, blood vessels provide a way to transfer the blood okay from one part of a body to other part of a body so this blood vessels act as an act as a pathway for the transportation of a blood 
okay blood vessels are of two types okay so first is artery and second is veins okay one is artery and other is vein veins so what is the role of arteries we are going to discuss and as well we are going to discuss about uh, veins okay so let us start with the arteries okay so arteries transport oxygenated blood from the heart to all part of the body okay so this is the role of the arteries while in the case of veins it transports deoxygenated once again i'm repeating vein transports deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart okay so this is the role of the veins so this is the role of the arteries okay so the arteries are thick elastic and divide into smaller vessels called capillaries this arteries sorry this uh, arteries are uh, elastic thick in nature and uh, divided into small vessels called capillaries so these arteries only divide and form a smaller vessels that is called as a capillaries that is what uh, we have had a lot many times right so while unlike here uh, unlike in the case of veins we can able to see these are thin elastic and uh, present closer to the surface of a skin okay the veins are the thin elastic and which are present closer to our surface of our skin well we, uh, i want to say you something like arteries carries oxygenated blood as we have discussed now so the uh, the color of a oxygenated blood is light color okay while in the case of deoxygenated blood is dark color okay so that is how we can distinguish which one is uh, deoxygenated and which one is oxygenated blood okay so once again i am repeating deoxygenated blood is uh, dark in color while oxygenated blood is uh, light red in color okay so this was all about uh, the blood vessels now coming to the next point so now let us talk about last but not the least about lymph okay lymph is another body fluid it is also one kind of body fluid as blood okay but the chemical composition is quite different from the blood okay so lymph the color of a lymph is yellow color because you don't have red pigment so it don't have uh, hemoglobin in it so that is a reason why it doesn't have uh, red color okay so the color of a uh, lymph is yellow color okay so for, let me let me say you what does this lymph mean to us okay so lymph is a liquid it is a fluid in other way we can say okay it is a liquid or fluid what is the uh, what are the things uh, what are the substances which are present inside of a lymph there are salts proteins water so the main function of a lymph is or uh, lymphatic system is uh, it transports the digestive food absorb fat and waste material from the intercellular space or the tissues to the blood circulatory system okay from the tissues the waste and the digested uh, and absorb fat okay the from the tissues it moves to the and it uh, mixes with the vein okay simultaneously what we can understand here is uh, the substances or lymph from the tissues or intercellular spaces gets uh, joined with the veins or gets into the blood circulatory system okay so unlike hcs 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 is human circulatory system it is not pumped okay so there is a most fascinating uh, organ that is heart which is pumping the blood uh, that is the reason why it creates pressure and uh, the blood is uh, transported each and every part of our body right so unlike that this lymphatic system or lymph is not pumped by any sort of organ okay so it is uh, not pumped so this was all about human circulatory system okay coming up video will be discussing about working and function of heart so stay tuned and uh, keep watching if you really understood this video please make sure you hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any sort of doubts in you uh, please comment down below so that i can check it out and answer as soon as possible